Oh glorious day of days, welcome back to Wildlander, the Dragonborn has come. It's time folks, time to embark on this grand adventure. We've done our bit of kind of early game where we've gotten powerful enough to take on our first dragon and uh, now we've taken him on. I think I'm on the wrong side of White Run. We'll have to go around this way I think. But yes, we have gotten our first dragon under our belt and we are now ready to go and see the Greybeards. However, I don't recall where that is, but I do recall that if you ask nicely in Whiterun, someone should direct you that way, and not sure. The, the Yarrow might want to talk to me as well there. I guess we'll see. We're going to have Foos unlocked at the very least, and that will help greatly in our combat against non-dragons. And uh, once we get even more unlocked, we'll have an even easier time against those pesky non-dragon enemies. Being able to knock a wizard on their ass would be very, very helpful for us to be able to close distance and such. I think we might even be able to go and try and take on those uh, vampires again. I guess we'll see, but I think maybe with the aid of that... Don't do that! It's me! You're being mean. So what if I am? Hope you're willing to back those words up with your fists. No need to get rough. Kick his ass, kid. Do we get a journal entry or anything? Speak with the Greybirds. Okay, so... Take a look at the map here. See where we're going. Right, we have to go around here, and then it's like all the way up on top of this mountain. Yeah, and high Hrothgar. Right, right, right. Remember this part. Okay. However, I'd like to see if it's possible for us to maybe craft some dragon armor now. What that would entail see what we have here. I don't think I have the perk for it, maybe. Did I save a perk that I can use? Don't currently have a perk I can use. I must have used them all up for other things. Yeah, we don't have dragon smithing just yet. Okay, well, we have it unlocked. We just don't have it yet, so next level. We have a ways to go to our next level, though, so... All right. Fair enough, I suppose. I'm gonna at least go over here and drop off the uh, stuff we got, because we're carrying quite a bit of stuff. Maybe sleep for the night, because it's getting a bit dark out. Getting a bit late in the day. Maybe I'll just train for a bit, and then uh, we'll call it a night here, I suppose. And then set off again in the morning. Oh, so guys, I have found a very good use for moon sugar. Jazbe grapes are also quite rare, but Jazbe grapes, moon sugar, and dragon's blood can make dragon blood pudding, which restores two stamina per second. Also, health regens 4% faster. That's definitely the best food I've seen so far. Pretty cool. Actually, um, dragon meat's not bad either. It's just a flat one stamina per second for 5,400 seconds. Maybe one of the easiest meals to make. Much more easier, like, at least compared, you know, once you kill a dragon, anyway. Much easier than making the other stuff I use for, uh, for my stamina regen. But cool, I'm not gonna make that just yet, but, you know, we'll think about that. Alright, good morning, folks. Well, it's, uh, it's time. We're gonna be heading over to see the Greybeards today, hopefully. Uh, so we'll be going to the east, and then around the mountain, and then, uh, hitting up this area over here. So, yeah, let's get it done. I see something up here. It looks like maybe a giant camp? Well, maybe not. Okay. Bandits. Actually want to take this wolf's stuff because I want the meat. Um, it's useful for training. I can just spam it while I'm like holding down my destruction skill that I want to use. 
and it allows me to just train destruction non-stop on target dummy or whatever I want to do, like whatever skill I want to do. Nothing here, really. Uh, let's see. Note to Rodolf. What's this say? Rodolf, you little, your little stunts. Try my patience. I know my uncle has issues, but he is our watchman, and you will respect him. No more sneaking in and out. No more games with his ledger or nails on his chair. One more joke, and you'll see how funny a day in the cage can be. Hajvan. Hajvar. Stop being so mean. Guess it won't matter much anymore because you did. I take all cheese on general principle too because it's, it's, it's just cheese. It's delicious. Salmon? Sure, I still need salmon for a quest. A missive. If I still have that missive, I'm not really sure. Oh no! Oh, thank, thank goodness I didn't have one. I just wanted to scavenge the wood pile and not actually use the chopping block. Free wood is fine, but actually chopping my own wood, that's that's a bit too far. Silver arrows, very nice. Alright. That could go somewhere, too. Right River Watch. Let's see what's in here. Did I say we're going to go see the Greybeards today? I lied, guys. We're just going to check every point of interest on the way. Hmm. Who's there? Rodolph? That you? Yeah. I'm not going to kill this guy. He's blind. Boss was looking for you. Said he'd be up at the summit. Better not keep him waiting. Do you have a book? <laughs> it's empty. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. That's funny and also mean. I like the attention to detail, though, and the small little things, you know? You know, this is, what, this is what's missing from Starfield a lot of the times, I feel like. These small little things, it's just like, oh, you find this note outside, and it's talking about how... Lay off of the blind guard at the front. He's our watchman, you know. And Rodolph probably thinks that really fun that's really funny. Like, oh, he's our watchman, eh? Well, he's blind though, you realize that, right? Like it, it it's funny to him. And then you find the book in front of him, and it's literally empty, nothing in it. I like all the various supplies and stuff laying around these places, too. Like, it, it lets you really know that, um, hey, these guys are definitely, like, living here. They're just robbing people and taking what they get from them to live off of, you know? Oop, somebody summoned something. One down, two down. Death awaits you. I'll take the arrows because I can use them for training. Save me having to make them. Right, so two left. Here I am. Just come and get me. Ooh, ow. Okay. Ouchies. <laughs> Think you can take me? You'll be so much easier to roll you when you're Over dead. Here.
Yeah, I should go ahead and heal, I guess. Oh, I forgot to... Am I still on... I'm still using my... Crappy... Yeah, I'm not using my regular gear. I had put on some linen stuff... To keep me warm, but also to uh, let me... Regen better... Oh yeah, I was gonna heal. I got distracted. We don't have enough stamina now. Or enough uh, magicka. Missed me. Missed me again. Okay, you got me that time. You don't do that much damage, though. I'll be okay. Shouldn't have brought bows and magic to a sword fight, should you have. Quite a bit of coin on you folks. Thanks much. Very appreciated. Okay, anything else I want here? Take the alchemy ingredients, obviously. A whole pile of septums. Yes, I'll pick them all up. Explorer's Guide to Skyrim. Marked location on my map. Okay, maybe I'll read this later. The Hope of Redoran. That would be House Redoran from uh, Morrowind. Is my lantern on? Yeah, it is. Okay. You fortify lock picking. Got to be some more enemies in here. Don't think that was all of them. I see you up there. Is someone there? <laughs> Meh, that works too. Look, I tried, guys. I should have stocked in some more health potions, but I'm sure it'll be okay. <gasps> oh man, there's alchemy ingredients back there. Rest in peace. So I've been told in the comments 
once yet again I've been told to do this that I'm doing it wrong and I'm supposed to bash instead of uh, just attacking and it will be faster so if I do like um okay that actually works really good that's good good tip that, that's actually great like if you could have said that from the very start instead of just like oh just attack it and you'll get yeah that that's actually cool that's a good tip so power bash it and then yeah you you get a whole bunch from it do I want to use a stamina potion I guess I will using one use a crappy one crappy stamina yeah there we go Are we coming out the other side? Will we go all the way through this mountain? I think we might. That turns out to be a shortcut, I guess. If that's the case, if that's where we are. Hi! That was a satisfying death sound. Hey! Damage with two-handers! Very nice. Hajvar's journal. Cool, so I can learn that now. And it's on a crappy piece of gear, so I don't care too much. Well, the Nordic helmet is nice. I'll keep, I'll keep that. The rest is kind of bad, though. Iron great sword. Crappy heavy shield. What do we got here? Illusion spells and 150% magicka regen. Very nice. Probably end up just taking all this, but just taking a look at it to see what all it is. The rock I don't care about. Staff of heal other. Staff of zombies. Steel studded. Don't care about those. Okay. What does Hajvar's journal say? Pickings has been good these past few weeks. Must be because of the war. Lots of merchants and cowards looking for somewhere to curl up and hide from all the fighting. I've told the men to ease the burden on these poor souls by relieving them of all that gold they're carrying. Guard patrols along the road are way up. We can barely set foot outside. Travelers must have complained to the Jarl. Looks like the guard isn't ready to move against us yet, but the pressure is getting to the men. I'm having Rajir keep watch with Ulf now. That should shut them up about our security. Damn that, Bal Balgruf. Hmm. Well... He might be happy. The Earl might be happy that we took care of this. Maybe I'll let him know that we took out some bandits for him on his land. And there is Whiterun. Okay, so no, we came out up top. We came out higher up. We did not go through the mountain. We just ascended to a higher spot on the mountain. That's my understanding here. What was that? I just saw something. Oh. It lets you go back inside here. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. I can't go up here. Yeah, I can. Never mind. This is not... I mean, it's steep, but it's, you know, it's Skyrim. We can... We can climb down mountains like this because it's Skyrim. And there's the horse. It'll be quicker to go down this way, I suppose, than trying to go all the way back through. Yeah, we're good. All right. Nice little diversion there. And onward we go. To the east and around this giant mountain. What have we got over here? Nope, not... Not hostile? Hello? Oh, it's a Stormcloak camp. Interesting. 
Well, I'm no, um... I'm not necessarily an enemy of the Stormcloaks. That is the fire. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Can't wait to kill another Imperial. These guys do seem a bit misguided, I have to admit. There is some easy free weaponry here, though, if we'd ever need that. I guess I'll keep that in mind. Just a bunch of steel stuff, but still. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could kill all these guys and then take the horses and, um, you know, that'd be that. You could do that. I'm not going to because I don't have a real quarrel with these guys. I'm not sure I'm ready to pick up arms and fight for them exclusively because I don't think that... I don't know. It's unfortunate that things happened the way they did and diplomacy failed because I think that the king would have probably joined with Ulfric or, or um, you know, agreed with him, tried to find common ground with him, and instead Ulfric just shot him down, killed him instantly, and there was no real going back from that. A haste decision made. What's the saying? A decision in haste leads to waste? Something like that. Decisions made in haste lead to waste? I don't know. Some variant of that. How we doing here? Oh, we're getting there. I'm not sure what the quest we have is for Valheim Towers, or if we just have it on our map, because... I don't even know. wonder if there's a way to make the giants more docile so you can pass amongst them and explore the areas that they're in. Just avoiding them seems kind of lame, but killing them seems like a bad... It's a bad solution, you know? I don't want to have to just kill them. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just not to the point where I just want to outright kill them yet. Oh, hello, um... That's a lot of dead people on spikes here. Is there a story to that? Need something? Good day. Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? Uh, hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. Hmm, intimidation? You know, now that I think of it, that sounds fair. Just shove off before the others notice. The thing is, I can't let you just sit here doing this to everyone else. That just wouldn't be fair, you know? Wouldn't be fair to the good people of Skyrim. So, unfortunately... None of them attacked it. Uh, attacked it? Oh my god, I can't speak today. None of them attacked. Yeah, whatever. Not gonna let you stick around here and murder the good people of Skyrim for a few coins here and there when they refuse to pay. Plus, you got loot I could have, you know? Okay, that was a trap. It's not good. Missed. Dumb trap, you missed me. Ow! Ow. Easier to rob when you're dead. Tell you what, you 
start running so I can stab you in the back. Almost out of stamina. Nope. Shit, I, I bound the wrong thing there. It should be stamina. Let's put our uh, great sword back on. Ruffians. Didn't know who you were messing with, did you? We're taking all the cheese. It's non negotiable. I'm just telling you now. Wait, was that Elven? Elven gauntlets? Okay, I'll take those. Kind of seems like if I just loot from the bottom up, it's not bad. There you are. A lot more than I thought. What? Oh, that was that was ass. That was bullshit. What? There was a corpse in front of me. So in, so instead of so instead of bashing the person attacking me, it bashed the corpse at my feet instead. Oh, that's so annoying. Rip. It's really pretty. Oh, you moved last second. Damn it. Oh, dang it, I gotta rebind this again. Ugh, it's so annoying. I should have never re unbound that. Oh, why, what I was thinking. I meant to hit the trap, but apparently, last second, it changed. Well, whatever. I got lucky there. Who was shooting me with an arrow from there? Maybe up there.
freaking shooting me with the arrows. It's all the way up there, isn't it? Holy crap. Yeah, it's you. You freaking prick. Nice place you got here, though. Letters to Harold. Lordos, 29th of Second Seed. Dear Harold, we're finally safe and I have a moment to write. The soldiers took everything in our farm. I don't even know which side they were on. They left us nothing and I didn't like the way they were looking at Anya, so we had to go. I don't know when I'll get the chance to send this. We found some abandoned towers bridging the river near Whiterun, and we're settling here for the night. I think the trolls have lost our scent. I can hear them snuffing, snuffling outside, but we've barricaded the door, and they can't get in. Thela and Anya are well and send their love. Yours forever, Elsie. Tordas. Third mid-year. Dear Harold, more refugees have come here. They're starving, but some of them have weapons, so we went out hunting. There are a few rabbits and some wolves that we avoided. A merchant passed through today. He had plenty of food, but he wouldn't even share a mouthful with us. I hope the trolls get him. Thela and Anya say they miss you. I hope I get a chance to send these letters so that you know where we are. Then you can join us. Dear Harold, we went, we were hunting today. Thela was attacked by a wolf hidden in the long grass, and she's badly hurt. The wound is infected. We have nothing here, no medicine or anything. I'm so afraid. Anya's crying. She's scared too, for all of us. There are eight of us here now, but we never have enough to eat, and the nights are cold. More merchants came by. The prices they charge are so high. I can't afford even a healing potion for Thela. I don't know what we're going to do. I think of you often. If I get a chance, I'll go to Whiterun and send these letters, but for now, I have to look after Thela. Dear Harold, today I killed a man. It was one of those merchants coming past the road. His bag was full of medicine, and when I asked him, he showed me and laughed at me when I begged him to lower the prices. Thela is dying. I told him that, and he laughed some more. The next thing I knew, I had knocked him off his horse. He fell, and I hit him again. I kept hitting him. I had no idea that a simple staff could do so much damage. The others, they didn't stop me. We've all had enough. We took his weapons and armor. We killed his horse, and we'll feast tonight. It's good to have something in our cook pot for a change. I threw the body down the waterfall for the trolls. At least, they're good for something. I feel awful about the man, though. I didn't mean it to kill him. RK, forgive me, I just snapped. I hope you'll forgive me, too. Dear Harold, More merchants came past today, but now we're armed and armored. We stopped them and made them hand over food and gold and some of the medicine. It's too late, though. Thela died last night. We took her downstream so the trolls can't get her. I keep thinking about Whiterun. The merchants who came through told us that there's a bounty on our heads. They think we're bandits. I tried to tell them that we're just trying to survive, but the way they looked at us, it's hard to convince someone you're just, you've just robbed. We're not the only robbers around here either. One of the merchants swore at us and showed us his saddlebags. They were already empty. Need to look into that. Dear Harold, we're clearing this road so that the merchants can get through. 
The trolls have been scared of us ever since we went down there with torches. Even Hajvar and Iron Hand up at White River Watch is keeping his men up on the hill and taking his raiding parties somewhere else, away from White Run and the road. Feels good to be doing something useful for the world, for a change. I think a couple of the merchants understand. One of them paid us without us having to draw a blade. As long as we don't kill without need, and as long as the civil war keeps going, maybe we can stay here. We're not charging so much, and everyone who passes here is safe. There are 16 of us now. You should see Anya in her armor. You would be so proud of her. She sends her love. Dear Harold, Anya is dead. A bounty hunter came in search of us. He was alone, but so was Anya. I'm never leaving any of my men by the door on their own again. He put his head on a spike as a warning. I wish we had done that already. Maybe Anya would still be alive. I'm not going to send these letters. I don't want you to see what I've become. I've got a new family to protect now. Some of them are as young as you as ours were. I don't remember anymore what it was like to be young. I'm so sorry, my love. I never wanted any of this. RK grant me RK grant that you never find me, that you believe me dead, too. It's better that way. Sooner or later someone will end up making it true. Wow, man. Talk about a guilt trip once you finally get up here and deal with all of them. What are you gonna assume though? You look at the heads on spikes. I mean, they weren't good people, but at the same time, they're doing what they had to do to survive. A bit conflicting. Marksman skill, very nice, I'll take that. Yeah, I feel a bit bad. Just a bit, though. Not super bad, you know. She said trolls is in plural, though, so I wonder if there is a troll down the waterfall nearby. I should go and investigate that too and see if I can find the, the leftovers they tossed down there. Maybe we'll find a few, coin, a few coin person stuff that they missed or... I don't know, something useful down there. Or just a bunch of trolls we can kill. That was so hard to get through, man. Oh! Amran's family sword. It's here, huh? Didn't realize it was here. All right, well, I guess we can give that back to him. Nothing special, really, but, I mean, it's okay. Dance in the fire. Does the eye icon mean that we've right already? This has a very frost feel to it, this place does. It really, really, like, dead on for frost, really. You go to an area, you clear out some people that are, you know, doing bad things, but they're doing it for, you know, because it's the only way they know how to survive in this this world. And are you really any better for killing them and taking their stuff, you know? Has very much that kind of feel to it. Oh, we're hungry. Hungry. Stew and, um... Probably should try to heal ourselves as well with the healing aura. If I can do that. There we go. It's not like these guys were rich or anything, you know? These two I got with arrows right through the... Right through the eyeballs. Good job, Wandy. Good shots. <laughs> using this giant... That's funny. Using this giant uh, axe to split the uh, bread loaf is pretty cool. So excessive, but also pretty funny. Once again, we're taking all the cheese... You can't stop me. I'll take the cheese if I want to. 
We used a lot of health potions, but I've gotten a nice stock of them back from this place, too, so... There's that, I guess. This is a very, very nice overlook. You'll be able to see people coming right over the hill there. And you've got a nice view all around. Yeah, it's great. It's a really great spot. For this, you know. Shame you folks got mixed up in all this. Not sure what the skooma vials are really for. Imperial heavy shield. That is a lot of armor. I guess I could make better though at this point myself than that. So not really a big deal. Got these already before, right? Well, not all of them though. Because a couple of those we fight, yeah, we fought them out here. This is nice, but it's eh, whatever. Whatever. Quite heavy. Not worth that much. So bottom of the waterfall is where they were dumping the bodies. So I guess that would be this waterfall. She, they said that they took Anya downstream, so maybe that way upstream. I'll definitely have to check at the bottom of this waterfall and see what we can find as far as their their dumping ground. But yeah, if the if the story holds true, then we ought to find Anya's grave upstream here somewhere. Ooh, clay deposit. Uh, I didn't. I don't know what clay is. Oh, I guess for making clay, making clay mugs and such. If you want to make that, if you want to craft them yourself, I suppose. Or maybe it's using some kind of crafting. Can I do this like this? Doesn't look like it. Had to put on my uh, pickaxe and do it like that. No. Lots of clay. Does this ever go away, or...? I got a- I got a amber from that. LOL. I can get... gems from this. Infinite money, guys! What's clay worth, anyway? Is this, is this an exploit? Can I exploit this? In a future run? It's not worth a lot. It's very, very heavy. I'm going to take it back, though, just so I can see what I can make with it. Well, I haven't seen a, a grave anywhere along here so far. I'm not sure how far they would have taken her. And how much do I really care? I might find something, like, you know, a weapon or something. Maybe they buried her with something that would be good or useful. Okay, surely they would not have taken her this far. I probably missed it, or it just doesn't exist. It might just not exist, too. That's entirely possible. Nope, there's a chest here. Okay, well, I didn't intend to go all this way. But we did. We couldn't find what we were looking for. So, I guess we'll just be on our way then. I do want to check the, the base of that waterfall too and see if we find the trolls that are supposedly down there, plus all the bodies and such where they were dumping people. So, stories are true. We should see trolls down here. Dark shade. Yeah, there's definitely some stuff down here. Nothing back behind the waterfall. a very pretty area. Yeah, they're definitely taking people. They're getting dumped down here, back in there. Ooh, gold. 
All right. Probably bind this or favor this at the very least, this pickaxe. Don't have to keep it on my hop bar, but... Yeah, it's much better. Although it does burn my stamina immediately, which is a, a bitch. It's, I wouldn't burn stamina if I had mined it regularly. You left some money on him. Fortify, stam regen. Okay. 